Hello, I'm Chris Andrews. Welcome to Latrobe Financial's Headwinds and Tailwinds Report for March 2016. Each quarter, we review some of the key headwinds and tailwinds affecting Australia's economy. On the back of recent market volatility, we become slightly more bearish on the short to medium term outlook while maintaining our fundamental long term optimism about Australia's economic future. This month, we'll focus on four key headwinds for the Australian economy. First, China fears have grown, with key indicators like the Chinese stock market taking a battering. Now, while there are some positive underlying indicators, like domestic car sales, for example, the current level of negativity around China may well become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Globally, there is a real risk that the prolonged quantitative easing programs across the world will result in significant asset devaluation or sustained underperformance. And this comes on top of a lost decade for Australian share market investors, with the benchmark S&P ASX 200 still 25% down on values reached in 2007, and that's before inflation. History tells us that in the long run, stock markets tend to bounce back, but investors should also remember John Maynard Keynes' famous, if somewhat cynical, words about the long run. While Australian companies continue to labour under the corporate earnings recession experience since the GFC, it's hard to see the solid base required for any significant upside. On the other hand, there are some substantial tailwinds for the Australian economy too. Now, while plummeting oil prices put pressure on oil producing companies and nations, they go straight back onto the bottom line for consumers, the equivalent of a 0.5% rate reduction on their home loans or debt. So the price of oil, coupled with our continued record low interest rate, constitutes a significant stimulus for the Australian economy. There is a clear underlying trend of solid unemployment prints too. The January increase to 6% does not negate this trend. We've seen unemployment generally surprise on the positive side over the last six months or so, and this is a solid tailwind for the Australian economy. In fact, the recently released GDP growth figures showing our economy growing by 3% only solidifies our view here. Finally, from a range of indicators, positive building approvals, solid if unspectacular retail sales growth, decently positive consumer sentiment and rising household wealth, the picture emerges of a relatively robust Australian economy, which is rebalancing away from the resources sector and doing it against some significant international headwinds. So the overall picture is of caution in the short to medium term. Markets have been nervous since the start of the year and exposures to volatile assets have delivered substantial portfolio losses for investors. Whilst volatility and uncertainty are likely to persist into the medium term, the underlying thematic for the Australian economy is positive. We continue to be well positioned to take advantage of the Asian growth engine well into the 21st century, including, and for La Trobe Financial, growing our $1 billion credit fund further. Thanks for joining us.